Each year, approximately 300 million are produced worldwide. As the game of tennis has evolved, so too has the tennis ball. We take a look at how they're made. The ingredients of a tennis ball are a special blend of premium natural and synthetic rubber. These components are mixed together in a sophisticated process for many hours and kneaded over and over again. From this special compound, pellets are formed, calibrated precisely to the gram. At high pressure and a temperature of up to 160 degrees Celsius, half shells are shaped. These half shells are punched out of the mold and abraded to an exact height and then buffed. The buffed half shells are then edge cemented with heat activated adhesive. Now at high temperature, compressed air is injected into the ball core to ensure proper bounce, whilst the two shells are glued together. The next step, the balls are abraded again. They're then bathed in a special glue, the last step before the marriage with the felt. The felt is important for more spin, more control and more durability. Dog bone shaped pieces are cut out of the felt. These are then bundled together and heavily compressed. In the dipping bath, the edges are treated with a latex solution. This creates the typical white seams of a tennis ball. The felt is wrapped onto the core with ultimate precision. And for the first time, the result looks like a tennis ball. But we're not finished yet. The rubber core and the felt are bonded by applying heat and pressure. Afterwards, the balls are filled into this special steam machine, which prepares the felt for ideal playing characteristics. Followed by the next quality control to ensure the ball meets the standard, that millions of players have come to expect. Then finally, they're ready to be used. At the biggest tournaments, players on the ATP World Tour expect the best. The right ball gives them the confidence to go for their shots and deliver tennis of the highest quality. You know that uh, players are always changing uh, with the balls during almost every second week, so uh, with this kind of ball on the Master 1000 events, it's, uh, it's uh, really good to know that we are playing with a good ball and especially also for me that I'm playing with uh, my favorite ball. We're using a lot of spin, a lot of kick serves, slices, top spin of the group from the baseline and hitting very hard, that control of the ball helps my game a lot. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, we're in Paris for all the action from the last ATP World Tour Masters 1000 event of the season. And we meet an old double act newly reformed this season, the legendary Mahesh Bhupati and Leander Pays. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter. See you next week.